Okay, so so far uh, we've created a circle inside of a 300 by 300 canvas. It's not filled with any color just yet, but that'll change in a little bit. I'm going to go back into the links. I've actually by now added the HTML canvas reference link. If I click on that, it'll give me the same page where I found the arc reference. And that's what I'm looking for, so I don't scroll through it past it again. I'm going to do a search for ARC, and there it is, part of the paths. Uh, you'll see that not only are we drawing, we have uh, access to other methods we can use. Uh, we've already used a stroke that just basically draws the path that we have just defined. Uh, we have used the begin path. We'll be also using close path, and I'll show you in a second why that's going to be important. Uh, also, very, very... Um, Apropos to what we're using right now is fill. It's going to fill the current path. So if I click on this for more reference, this is showing us an example with a rectangle. Basically, you have the context where you begin the path. You tell it to draw a rectangle. You give it a color. The fill style will be red. And then you actually just use the fill method. So why don't I copy those important parts? Why well, don't I need the rectangle? I've already drawn a circle. So I'm going to copy the uh, methods to define the style as being this color and then filling it. So if I go back to my editor, I'll see my code. I begin the path. It's drawing a circle and then it's drawing the stroke. Before it draws the stroke, I'm going to fill it with a color. So I'll add a line and paste what I just copied. I'll tab this in. I don't want it red. My happy face will be yellow, so I'll change that to yellow. This could also be a, um, a hexadecimal color. In case you're wondering what yellow is in hexadecimal, as I was earlier today, I was a little bit off. Uh, you can follow the link to get the color picker. Color picker will then show you all the families of all the web colors, or most of them anyway. Here's yellow. It's uh, basically, it's 100% red, 100% green, and no blue, which was kind of odd to me. So it's four Fs and two zeros. But you can also just say yellow, which is what I did. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to my canvas sample and reload. And I have the uh, stroke being drawn, and now it's full with yellow. I changed the order, or at least I picked the order that I did so that it would fill the yellow first and then draw the um, the stroke around it afterwards later on as we start to draw the eyes i think that that you'll see that why that is important because we're going to be drawing areas that are going to be on top of this and we want them to show so they need to come first rather than later so i know that if i draw an arc uh, and multiply by two i get a circle but if I multiply by 1, I'll just get half a circle, which would help if I'm going to be drawing a smile and a smiley face. So let me copy this context where it's defining the circle. I'm not going to tell it to fill it with yellow. It's already got enough yellow there. I'm going to go after the code that I just typed. And rather than doing two times, I'm going to do it just once. So just math.py. And then tell it to add the context of a stroke. So not only define it, but actually draw it. So that I don't get too lost, more than I already am, I'm going to get some remarks in here. Just say, this is my main face. That's the big circle. I'm going to try to draw the smile. I save again and reload to see what happens. And actually nothing happens because I'm basically telling it to draw half a circle on top of a circle that already exists. So that's no good. Uh, in my new code, rather than saying it's going to be 150 by 150, why don't I say, hey, do something that starts with the middle of it being the same, but rather than going 100 out, just go, oh, I don't know, maybe 70. So let's try that. 70 here. 75 maybe just to keep the order there. And speaking of order, I did mention this a little bit earlier. I told you that 
we were beginning the path. That's where the uh, etch sketch actually starts to draw. I am going to tell it to uh, not only begin the path, but when it's done with the stroke and context, say to actually close the path. So close path. It's in uh, camel case. Give it a blank parentheses and uh, certainly the same thing for the smile since we're drawing I'm going to copy the context of the path beginning and then of the path ending right after this I'll save that and um, check my numbers I'm still at 150 by 150 I this should be well it's the same it should be right in the middle it's 75 0 bath by we're telling it to draw a stroke. However, uh, right after stroke, I need to uh, give it a open close parentheses there so that it doesn't just uh, go into oblivion. You'll notice how, at least uh, using Sublime, my color changes. Stroke is white here, but once I add the parentheses, then it gives me blue. It recognizes it's part of the code. So then when I reload over here, I get the smile that I was waiting for, which is just half a circle. So the next thing I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to get, uh, I just type it rather than copying. I'm going to say, I'm going to do the left eye. And then I'll have code for the right eye right after that. I've already drawn a circle. It's this big one here. So I'm going to copy all of this code, put it in for the left eye. That's this big circle there. Uh, things that I don't need for the eyes, uh, I don't need to fill it with yellow. So I'll just change this to black. The circle will not def definitely not begin at the middle unless it was a big nose. So I'm going to do a little bit of calculation. If this is 150 to the middle, I'm going to say that from here to here then it's half of that. So it's 75. 75x and then from the top, it's from here to here. It's a little bit more than, well it's 150 to here, so 75 will get me halfway there. I don't know that that's necessarily the right one, but let's see where it would draw it. If I put it at 75, I can always adjust. I am filling, I am uh, adding the stroke, and I'm closing the path. If I save and run this, I get a really big eye. Okay, so it's the radius, it doesn't need to be 100, it could be way smaller than that. The left eye really, let's see, what about, oh, I don't know, maybe just 20 for a radius. Run that, I changed the wrong 20. That's why I put these remarks. That's the face. This is the left eye. Instead of 100, it should be 20. Save and run. It's a little bit off kilter here. It's more, if I do it on the other side, I'll get a little Kermit the Frog looking thing. So let's see if I do from the left, it needs to get a little bit more to the right. So rather than 75, which is the edge of the eye, I'll just put in an arbitrary number here. Um, why don't we put in 110? And from the left, maybe 110 from the top. Hopefully it'll be a little bit closer to here. 20 is still okay. Everything else looks all right. I'll run that. I get the eye right in the middle. Now for the right eye, I'm going to copy the code that I just created for the left eye and paste it. Build the sign pattern going there. And now I have... Uh, begin path, etc. But now this would only draw it right on the same place. The right eye, I'm going to uh, go to the other side. So 150. If I'm doing 110, why don't do, I do like 180 or so on this side? And I'll leave it at the same height and run that. It's a little bit goofy maybe a little bit more, 185, and see what that looks like. It looks okay. So uh, one thing that we might still want to do is that the uh, this is only one pixel all the way around. It's one pixel for the smile as well. So one other thing that we can do is look at our reference 
and the well that's the color picker and this is the canvas reference but we also should have something for the width of the line line width sets of returns to current line width and uh, that's going to be uh, in the context of the line width being larger than one or larger than the default which should be one i'm going to copy that go back to my code uh, whenever i'm drawing my smile as it strokes i'm going to tell it or right before that rather tell it to change the line width to 10 save that go back to my page reload that did it for everything so we'll just need to maybe find a way to get that back i'm guessing that if i just once again just copy this right after the smile is done and just before the left eye is being handled that i could just reset it back to zero computers are pretty fast or rather one or why not just zero and then run again and nothing happened and nothing happened probably because i'm assuming too much that zero is okay for default but really maybe it should be one so i'm going to replace that with a one save that reload and now my smiley face is a little bit happier i could do the same thing with the larger circle around i could change the color i could explore different ways to start to color this uh for this assignment um I, you know if you want to do the smiley face why not try maybe a a frowny face the student today actually wanted a a uh, sort of a neutral face a meh face just all the way across so we draw a line which is a different method which is also available in the reference uh, what I'll do next is I'll oh no, I already have this saved I'm going to add the CSS probably from the uh, from the original sample file and I'll upload it up to uh, my github uh, archive so that hopefully when you see this video you'll have access to this code as well and that's it